Section 27 of the Baha'i Revelation by Thornton Chase. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Nicholas James Bridgewater. The Baha'i Revelation by Thornton Chase. Section 27. The object of the Baha'i Revelation is unity. It is to dispel the differences between religions, to overcome strife, to create the unity of mankind in the recognition of God's oneness and singleness, and to bring peace among all peoples and men as members of the one human family of the Great Father and creator of all it is written o people of the world ye are the fruit of one tree and the leaves of one branch walk with perfect charity concord affection and agreement i declare by the sun of truth the light of agreement shall brighten and illumine all horizons Baha'u'llah. We know that each great religion had its beginning in one source, the word of God revealed by his messenger, that all taught the same truths of reverence and love to God and justice to man. We find the golden rule inculcated in each religion, and as early as 5,400 years ago, three thousand five hundred years before the time of christ religion is one always was one its pearl of truth was love and its duties the qualities of love but man changed and colored it to suit his desires changed its god love into self-love its divine attainments to earthly ambitions he set up an interpretation of his own, placed a ring of exclusion about it, and made it a fortress of offense against all outside of his circle. Each of the great religions of God has taught that a time of consummation should come, when there would be a great and universal revelation, when all the world should know the word of God, would worship him, and dwell together in peace but each religious nation construed that to mean that the great coming would be through the return of its own prophet and founder who would then appear with such mighty powers and angel hosts that he would force all nations to acknowledge him and bow before the rule of that one special and chosen people alas for the pride and vanity of man that which he hopes is impossible and contrary to the essence of god's teaching the prophecies of god are sure and true but man's interpretation of them is from his own wish and ignorance who hath declared this from ancient time who hath told it from that time have not i the lord and there is no god else beside me a just god and a savior there is none beside me look unto me and be ye saved all the ends of the earth for i am god and there is none else i have sworn by myself the word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return that unto me every knee shall bow every tongue shall swear in the lord shall all the seed of israel be justified and shall glory isaiah forty five twenty one the time has come that great revelation the word has gone out to all the nations but instead of holding up to the gaze of the world one religion as perfect admirable and to be embraced it declares every religion to be of the one god all pure in their origin one in their essence 
and that each has gone astray and lost much of its truth as originally revealed it points all men back to the teachings of their own prophet and shows the oneness of those instructions it calls upon all mankind to thus learn the primary doctrine of the oneness of god the father the oneness of his word the oneness of his prophets the revealers of that word the oneness of religion and the oneness of the human race his children the adherents of each religion of the past have demanded that all men should accept it or be lost this revelation of god's will calls upon the followers of each religion to acknowledge the divinity and truth in the others and for all to unite in love peace and worship of the one god and father of all o children of men do ye know why we have created ye from one clay that no one should glorify himself over the other be ye ever mindful of how ye were created since we created ye all from one substance ye must be as one soul walking with the same feet eating with one mouth and living in one land that ye may manifest with your being and by your deeds and actions the signs of unity and the spirit of oneness arabic hidden words 64 o son of man my oneness is my design i have designed it for thee therefore clothe thyself with it thus thou mayest be a star of my omnipresence for ever arabic hidden words sixty five the central bahai teaching is the oneness and singleness of god the infinite entity who is above ascent or descent and who singly and alone abideth in his own place which is holy above space and time mention and utterance sign description and definition height and depth this unique one manifests through existence his oneness which in its true significance means that god alone should be realized as the one power which animates and dominates all things which are but manifestations of its energy baha'u'llah thus all things are manifestations according to their degrees of the oneness of god and all are in unity harmony and perfection each in its own especial kingdom of the universe excepting man who has been given the power to oppose the law of oneness and to injure himself by using his will contrary to the will of oneness this gift enables him to ascend or descend in the scale of being were it not for this free ability he could never ascend because that signifies a change of condition amounting to a recreation and it depends upon his compliance with certain laws it is a growth from one plane of existence to another to attain this change new faculties new powers must be created in him and he can be fitted to receive them only through a free personal choice and personal activity in compliance with instructions given by god through his revealed word these powers and this elevation into the kingdom of god are divine gifts coming from the love and generosity of god but they will not be forced upon him who turns his back upon them the path of heedlessness and self-will is choked with thorns of suffering loss degradation and death that man may be pricked to consciousness and desire for better things 
it is the way of selfness separation disagreement and disunity the path of ascent is that of unity recognition of responsibility of god's love power right justice mercy generosity imminence oneness it is fragrant with flowers of true friendship love and peace and it leads to eternal life the revelation of god's word today invites the wanderers and prodigals to return to this way of unity which leads to their father's house end of section 27 recording by nicholas james bridgewater recorded in london england